just dug the hole for our jet ski fountain. So the ski was lost or whatever at in the Gulf. And then uh, a guy on Facebook got it. I acquired it from him with uh, five other skis. And I was like, what am I gonna do with this junk? So I'm gonna put it all back on. Uh, it was upside down and beaten on the ground. It's got barnacles on it and shit. Um, I'll glass that back in, just rough like glass this little area back in. I'm gonna sand it down, just spray it. Uh, we're gonna spray it uh, silver and probably put like purple stripe down it or something. Uh, so we're gonna uh, set the time lapse, we're gonna glass all that in. glassed in enough to be a 2020 you know 20 feet at 20 miles an hour it'll look great got a little patch here just so it didn't have holes in it got this whole destruction here about to glass that in real quick let it dry while the wife is pressure washing should be good Doing this for looks. It'll take a it'll take a nice coat of paint once I sand it. Glassed in the lid because it was broken. Ooh, she was broke. They gonna look good. What you think, Kate? Got mulch all the way up. Got to patch that spot. Got the tiles cleaned, repositioned. Got the liner in, put gravel around the edges. The wife's sand in the ski. Got it sanded up, you know, good enough for looks. This side was so damaged. I just left it high, doesn't matter. It's gonna be the backside. All that shit's gonna be the backside. 
Got the pole. Not bad for a fountain, for a fountain ski. Don't mind the blotchiness. I'm gonna put a purple stripe. That's why I wasn't worried about it. I do like a purple stripe. Uh, and probably put like Kawasaki or JS440 or JS550 or something or Kawasaki across there. I got a um, graphic, got a vinyl cutter. I can put some stuff or maybe some registration numbers like my address down there. That'd be pretty cool. This was completely not connected. Don't look at under that. It's just to get this look, you know. Oh, it looks great. Who cares about the blotchiness? This is the side that is gonna be showing. And I did this side because the HydroTurf shows. It's gonna be up on an angle. I'm gonna have the pipe out and graphics. first clear purple so it shows the metallic under it layer down first it's a little blotchy still I mean that's shade but there's a little bit of lightness in there kind of striped on the pole my mom's helping out with this uh, taping and don't look too closely at the repairs I did right there because She's just a fountain. But that silver paint came out pretty good with that clear purple stripe that has some flake in it. Don't worry about the overspray either on some of the tape lines. She looks good. All right. Got the ski all painted up. Got us some, got some wood, got the skill saw. I measured to make a stand. I don't know, kind of just going as I, I go here. And uh, I'm gonna get these cut up, screwed together and we'll see where it ends us up. I think this is gonna come out pretty good. Get that meeting that right angle, which is gonna put it at the right angle. I'm gonna take the hood off and the pole off and shoot some screws to have them ready to shoot into that piece there.
the look I'm going for right there. I'm gonna fog it black real quick and drop it in. Kind of did a shadowing effect fade of black on the bottom. It looks blacker because it's dark outside, but it's not that dark. Looks mm -hmm. yeah. pretty good. on me but came out pretty good now I'm putting the water up to the line there now that we did our walking around but from the road passing probably gonna put like Hyatt's jet ski shop or something on it or whatever I don't know I think it's gonna be pretty cool fits on there perk right well how we imagine you watch up to this point. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.